In this video we're going to be taking the carburetors off because as you know past the MOT but it's running really roughly uh, I'm going to be taking the clutch lever off because I don't like these cheap things and I'm going to put the original one back on and if I've got time I'll be changing the indicators to the originals and putting these back on the back of the wing rack so welcome back to Johnny's XJ continued <laughs> So that's all the carburetors off, all ready to be stripped down. Uh, I won't show any video of the cleaning of the carburetors because I'm sure you've seen it all a million times. That's, uh, if I do find anything wrong with the carburetors, uh, I will show it obviously, for advice mainly. But uh, yep, the carburetors off. Now I'm going to do the lever. Well, I'm sure I'll find my clutch lever in a minute. This is the uh, 18 pound brake lever set clutch lever. Total waste of money. Press that. Feels like a rusty door hinge. Horrible cheap Chinese crap. So don't you see them on eBay? Don't bother. Here it is, found it. I've just cleaned all the paint off it. And I will be sticking it back on there. Okay, so I've got the carburetors all apart. All the uh, what they call pilot jets, the small jets, all the pilot jets, and everyone was blocked. So I've got a guitar string 
clean them all out, put them all back together and now I'm going to put them back on and see if it starts up. So, see you in a bit. So it is all back together, I've been a bit of a cheat, I've just ridden it up and down the garden, does seem a lot better. So, I'll get the clutch lever on and then I'll try that on the street tomorrow, see what it runs like. So let's get on with the clutch. Okay. So let's get the ball weight off. I think it's just a 10 millimeter Allen key. Just screws it in and screws out. Now normally they have a bolt through there, but this one hasn't blocked off at the end. It just screws in. Simple. the uh, bar grip off. Only a good pull brings it off unless somebody stuck it on with glue. Now I don't have to do this. I could leave that on because all I have to do is undo those two bolts and the clutch lever would come off. But unfortunately the clutch lever I'm putting back on has got to slide all the way past there. So the switch gear has got to come off. And I'm sure you all know the switch gear is normally held on by two posi drive screws. Phillips screwdriver screws. And if you've got little wire connectors like mine you will have to disconnect them. Just not going to do it either. Hopefully I took them off without unplugging it under the tank. Phew. Uh, just going to get the mirror off as well. It's normally a 17 mil spanner. It's 17 mil. As it's a Yamaha, it looks like it's going to be a 16 mil spanner. Guess what? I don't have a 16 mil open-ended spanner. Apart from this one. I'm doing the right one. There we go. Now we need to remove the clutch cable. And believe me, the threads on this Chinese thing are correct. Go back one. Where's the groove? There's the groovy groove. We should be able to get that there. Turn that to here and pull the cable out. Then we need our 8mm spanner. Get an 8mm by any chance. Oh yes. That can go in the wheelie bin, unless anybody wants it. Okay, let's stick the original crutch lever back on. Get it fits. As you can see, probably. It doesn't look like it's going to reach into there. And it's not, if you try and pull it with your hands, you're not going to get it in there, no way. So, a neat trick is rest it on that big wheel, big wheel, press your clutch. 
and then as you let go of your clutch pull with your right hand quick and nothing happens and here just let that be tight and the clutch leave up just want to stop it moving a boot let's try again sure we're on the groove Cable on the big adjuster wheel, pull the clutch, and then as you pull back, still nothing happens. The joys of a wooden floor. You've got to put quite a bit of pressure on the cable with your right hand. And it still didn't quite do it. There we go. That's it. Easy as that. It looks like you can't do it. I think oh, there's no way I'm going to be able to do that, but a bit of perseverance. Is that three attempts, four attempts, and I've done it. Pays to persevere. Put our switch gear back on. Easy if you get it in the right place. Tighten all the screws back up. Find the hole, make sure you're in the right place. Okay, useful tip on your levers. You know, you, you take them off, you put them back on, you go out on your bike and they feel all uncomfortable because they're in the wrong place. So the best way to get them into the right place is sit back on the bike Hold your hand on the angle bars. Make sure your hand is perfectly straight with wherever your arm is. Like this. Sit on bike. Put your hand on the angle bars. Make sure your hand is completely straight with your arm. Lever is in the right place. simple things but you know some people don't know them things and some people do so there you go now you know as well I will say what you probably all know anyway on your clutch lever there should be a couple of mils loose play before the clutch actually starts to bite so make sure there's a couple of, you know, just about there, so it's not pressing on the clutch and then it starts to press and then you know your clutch should be about set right and if it's not, just just it there and if it still slips or whatever, you might need a new clutch. Now then, an old boy taught me this years ago, ouch painful when you walk into your foot pegs. Yes, an old boy taught me this years ago. A lot of people have asked me about the grips in previous videos. You know, they put them on and they say they're too loose. Any tips on how to try and tighten them up from spinning round? Because you can, because if you haven't got uh, bar ends on and you've got them on loose, and you have to grab hold of your bike because it's falling it, it's still going to fall because that's going to come off in your hand but an old boy taught me this he says whenever your missus goes out 
just go upstairs and pinch her ear spray spray it on there to be nice and wet to slide it on and as you know it all dries sticky so perfect solution not tonight Josephine no, that's a different one isn't it that's if anybody can still remember that advert obviously it's going to go everywhere so try to cover up everywhere we'll give it a bit of a spray Stinks. <laughs> and you can just slide your grip on very easily. Like so. And it will stay loose until the air until the air spray dries up. So get your lettering at the top and just leave it till it dries. You can screw the bar end back in. Ten mil Allen key. Make sure it's all the way in. Tighten it up. We've just got to put the mirror back on. There we go. Job done. Okay, so that's it. So we didn't have time to put the indicators on. Maybe we'll do it in the next video. So like I say, tomorrow I'll be taking it down the street, see what it runs like. Hopefully it's all okay now. And we can get on with the first ride review or whatever. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Please leave a comment. Please leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. They all count, and I'll see you on the next one. Without digging on my legs, this crew was, the quarter put the 11,000 long cable, just caught the plastic on the edge. Didn't damage the cable, but 20, 30 grand plastic. So, uh, and that should be 600 meters of the property, uh, and the same crew. Sainsbury's, everybody that got the shopping, it was at the tools that they gave me the shopping for free. You've got to walk you out, you know, you good at it. It was only if you were going through the till. If you're going through the till, and the power is off, there's the new shopping for free. Also, if you were at the till, the till went out. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not yet. <laughs> Guy was a young boy. A school teacher brought him to school. A notepad engine. And he put it in to the workshop boys. And then he started it up with a whole piece of work. And the smell and the sound changed my life forever. I see you in another life, brother.